Well, good morning. Hello. Welcome back to our channel and day two out of 10 of our Island Princess cruise. I woke up super early this morning because the blackout curtains be not black outin'. What can we do, y'all? She is a 21-year-old ship. Some places on the internet say she was last refurbished in 2021, and some say 2019. I'm not sure which is accurate. Are you? Please let us know in the comments below. Gary was smart and wore an eye mask. So while he slept in, I went up to the buffet and got myself a little breakfast. Then it was time for a quick morning workout on the treadmill. After that, I went back to the room, gathered up Gary, and we went to the Salty Dog. Now, on most Princess Cruises, the Salty Dog is a regular standalone restaurant with its own space. But because the Island Princess was older and smaller, their fast casual restaurants were more like pop-ups during the day for lunch. On alternating afternoons, you would have the Crab Shack, Alfredo's, and the Salty Dog, where we are right now. Gary got the asparagus as an appetizer and I got the sauteed mushrooms so I got the sauteed mushrooms and it came with like this big fried egg on top and when I opened it up it just oozed out over the whole thing and it's so divine I got a mocktail here I don't know what it is what is it it's a mojito a mojito non-alcoholic here goes the taste oh there's there's mint in there. Oh, wow. That's the best non-alcoholic drink I've ever had in my life. Really? Even really. better than your beloved strawberry daiquiris? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Much better. Excellent. Let me get this in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this is... Oh, my gosh. This is lobster, mac and cheese... I'm gonna get a chunk of lobster. Come here. I'm gonna get a chunk of lobster here and take a bite. It's guru, I think, how do you call it? Guru cheese? Is that the way you say it? Gruyere. Gruyere. Gruyere cheese and mac and cheese and uh, a lot of other cheeses in there. I'm gonna give it a go. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's so good. I've never had lobster mac and cheese. This is amazing. I got the SDB, that's the salty dog burger. And I try not to eat bread. This bread does look so good though, but I'm gonna dissect it for you because I'm gonna eat and the And you got meat. some sweet potato fries there too, babe, Sweet right? potato fries. So um, I have some, this is fried jalapeno. I forget what this is. I don't remember what half this stuff give is. Give it a go, babe. Let me just give it a go. Go. Mm. You got medium rare, right? I ordered medium rare and I got medium rare. It's medium rare. Nice. It's delicious. It, it's not tough or anything. It's melting in my mouth. Oh, wonderful. Um, the cheese on top of it. Oh, this is kimchi. It's kimchi, you guys. Nice. Oh it's really good. It's delicious. Our server gave us one of every dessert. I've tried everything. Um, so this is coffee and donuts. It's an espresso mousse with ricotta with uh, little donuts. This was amazing. I already tried it. Then this was the lemon posse. And it's like a lemon custard with cream. And then Gary got the strawberries and cream. And he's loving it so far. And then I'm about to take my first bite of the bourbon chocolat pot de creme. <laughs> Give it a go, babe. And it's got some caramelized popcorn on top. It's like a chocolate mousse. Oh, wow. Verdict? Hardcore chocolate. Hardcore chocolate. Nice. I think my favorite, honestly, and this is the one I originally ordered, but I think my favorite is the lemon. Yeah? Yeah. Lunch at the Salty Dog was included in our Princess Plus package. On a previous cruise, I went over Standard Princess, Princess Plus, and Princess Premier, what each package includes. But as a recap, we are sailing Princess Plus, which includes two visits to a casual dining restaurant. So the Salty Dog would be our first one. Later on this cruise, we go to Alfredo's. 
Also, Princess Plus packages include unlimited drinks up to a certain price point, Wi-Fi, and two fitness classes, amongst a couple of other perks. Scrolling through a beverage menu so you can see what kind of alcoholic drinks they have, but Gary and I aren't the biggest drinkers. However, we do feel like we get our money's worth via coffee drinks. And no matter what package you purchase, another feature that Princess has for everyone that we absolutely love is hundreds of on-demand movies, all available to watch in your stateroom. Yes, they have old movies like Wall Street. This is my first time seeing Wall Street, but they also have newer films. And after a relaxing afternoon in the stateroom watching Wall Street, it was time for our first formal night on the Island Princess. And if you've been following us, you know Gary and I love dressing up for formal night. I know it's not for everyone, but it is for us. But here's where formal night started to unravel on the Island Princess. We ended up waiting on a 45 minute line to get seated. Now, I know what you're going to say. You guys should have made reservations in advance. You guys, this is not Royal Caribbean. This is not a mega ship. This is our third Princess Cruise. We've never had to wait over 10 minutes before to be sat. In addition, there was absolutely no place to sit while you waited for a table. The last time we had to wait this long for main dining room food was on the Celebrity Summit, another smaller ship, only for formal night, and they had a beeper system. So you could go relax anywhere else on the ship until your beeper went off. The median age on this cruise, I would say, is 80 years old. So let's say to have a bunch of 80-year-olds standing online in their formal wear for 45 minutes is criminal to me, you guys. It's criminal. Another thing that happened while we were waiting was the maitre d' said, well, we're pretty full. I would just come back tomorrow. In what cruise ship world does that make sense? We are all dressed up in our formal wear for formal night. We don't want to come back tomorrow. Baby, why don't you take a bite of your beef oh, yeah, tenderloin? Yeah, 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 yeah. When there's spinach underneath that too. Oh, perfect. Yes, it's a beef tenderloin rare. Delicious. Another huge issue we have with the princess main dining room is dining times. The time it takes to eat. It's a huge problem for us on the Caribbean princess where it would take up to two hours to eat dinner. Emerald princess was okay, but the island princess service just took forever and it is not the waiter's fault. It is whatever system they have in place. I noticed they don't have a sommelier. Once you order a glass of wine, that's it. That's all you're getting. No one ever asks you if you want a refill. And it's not because they're bad servers. It's because they are too effing busy and they don't have enough support to get you your food on time. I'm telling you, I was in the service industry for over 10 years. I know how it works. So we missed the early time of the production show and we're forced to go at the 9.30 p.m. show, which is way past my bedtime. We're able to go back to the room and watch the sunset. And listen, we know this is first world problems to the max, but you know, I feel like this is a problem that could so easily be fixed. So I'm just gonna complain about it in our videos until it is made our way to the 9 30 p.m show thank you very much they had three different production shows on the island princess tonight was the first one it was opera themed but it had a mixture of opera a little bit of musical theater and some current pop music there was an announcement for no video during the show So I'm just going to share with you some of our thoughts while I show you footage of the theater. Now, Gary used to perform on a cruise ship. I am a former performer as well. I hate saying negative things about the entertainment on the ships because I would hate for a performer to be watching this and then feel bad. But this show was not good. This show was not good. Now, on the plus side, you can see during the curtain call, we have some really lovely costumes and a lovely set. But other than the opera diva, who was specifically hired to sing arias throughout the show, 
it was awkward because they had the rest of the cast singing opera style music and they did not have operatic voices. The good news is it did get better from here. This was definitely the weakest of the three production shows, but it was so weak. I would put it in maybe one of the top three worst production shows we've ever seen on a cruise ship. Sorry, sorry. If you were an entertainer in that show, I'm sorry. It's not you. It's them. It's Princess. Also, the actual opera singer was excellent. So I hate to end day two on a negative note, but honestly, a negative note on a cruise ship is still a positive note in life. So that concludes day two. And the next morning we woke up in Norfolk, Virginia. Gary, what are you looking at? Why are you so happy? Check out the view right outside, right outside. I see some buildings. I see some, whoa, there's a battleship in front of our window. (laughs) Check it out. <laughs> wow. Wisconsin. Casual battleship. All right, you guys. First room service order of the cruise. And guess what? It's for me. It's not for Gary. He didn't want anything. Oh, that's for so, her. So let's see. All of it. I got a burger. You guys know I'm not going to eat the bread. So that's number one. Then I got... A sandwich again not gonna eat the bread but it looked really good it said there was avocado in it um, not seeing the avocado but that's okay that's number two then I got this salad that's number three and then this is the fruit cups which I ordered as a side oh these are really big these are big fruit cups that's what she said Gary <laughs> And then that's my dressing, and then I got mustard for my burger. Okay. Yeah, time to dig in. We have been to Norfolk, Virginia one time before on a cruise. It was on the Norwegian Joy two years ago. We love this port because there is so much to do right where the ship docks. Last time we were here, we did go on the USS Wisconsin, which was the battleship you all just saw. And that included a whole museum as well. We were thinking about doing it again, but this time the entire museum welcome area was under construction. It was a little hectic. So after checking out the gift shop, we decided we were just gonna spend the day walking around town because we know how cute this town is. Our first mission was to find a bookshop because like an idiot, I left my Kindle at home. We ended up at this tiny little bookshop called Prince Books. It also had a coffee shop as well. I ended up purchasing a Gillian Flynn book and I haven't purchased an actual book book in so long. Can we just say a paperback old Gillian Flynn book was $18.95? No wonder America is getting so stupid. We cannot afford to read anymore. <laughs> They're at Starbucks. The best Starbucks in the world, as far as I'm concerned, is the best Starbucks. This is a really good Starbucks. It's huge. It's a great place to regroup. It has fast Wi-Fi. It's also less than a five-minute walk from the ship. When we were here two years ago, we went to this mall that was kind of cute, so we decided to find it again. During our walk, we found a lot of mermaid sculptures. Our mermaids in Norfolk, Virginia thing... Do you know? Please let us know in the comments below. Also, if you're enjoying this video and appreciate our candid honesty about this cruise, please hit the like and subscribe button with the notification bell on. We know a lot of other influencers sugarcoat everything. And listen, just because we criticize something about a ship does not mean we aren't having an amazing vacation. It just means there are things that could be better and we're going to point it out. So visiting this mall was a bad decision. So many retail stores have closed since we were last here just two years ago. My inner 80s slash early 90s child was so depressed. Vacation fail. After this, we headed back towards the ship. And after a hot day and 10,000 steps, all we both really wanted was ice cream. Another thing Sailing Princess Plus includes is two specialty desserts every day. 
and Princess has the best specialty desserts. They are these ice cream sundaes. Discovered them on Emerald Princess, but in order to get one on that cruise, you had to wait in a half hour line every time. On the Island Princess, never more than a five minute wait and I'm not so sure that's a good thing because we ended up eating one of these sundaes almost every day. Is it as good as you remember it? I've just had one bite, babe, so I'm sure it is. After the previous evening, we were not mentally prepared to deal with the main dining room again, so we decided to call it another movie night. We watched the Wall Street sequel, so not nearly as good as the first one, followed by the Kevin Hart movie, Fatherhood. You guys, have you ever seen this before? It made us both cry. Kevin Hart, you're supposed to make us laugh, not cry. And then obviously we needed to eat dinner. Gary, this is um, room service order number two. We're in the middle of uh, fatherhood with Kevin. Uh, <laughs> Gary's eating. <laughs> and we got two orders of kids' chicken fingers. A fruit plate. Ooh, this one has pineapple. Excellent. Um, Gary got a, a uh, tur turkey. What would you get again? Uh, baked turkey sandwich. Okay. And uh, here's all of our condiments. All of our condiments. And, uh, and here's my uh -oh. salad. Uh-oh. I got a salad too, and it's not here. Oh, no. It's not. It's Okay. I'll just have some chicken fingers. I'll just have some chicken fingers. The salad was my mistake, not theirs. I somehow didn't add it to the cart. And we watched one more movie, Fast Charlie, starring Pierce Brosnan, before our late 9 p.m. sail away. And whenever I post that we've watched a lot of movies on a cruise, I get a lot of hate. People saying, I can't believe you're wasting your time in your stateroom, just sitting, watching TV. Well, haters, you can go on and keep a hatin'. Gary and I love cruising and we love movies. Those are literally our two biggest passions. Being able to merge them together on a cruise vacation is just chef's kiss. And you know what else is chef's kiss? This sail away from Norfolk, Virginia. We were really grateful that there was still some light at 9 p.m. And to summarize Norfolk, if you've never been here before, highly recommend doing a USS Wisconsin tour and walking around the town area. There's also a little Japanese garden right near the ship as well. If we were to come back in the future, we probably would get a cruise excursion, but this is a great stop. If you see it on a cruise itinerary, get it. The next day was another sea day as we made our way to Charleston, South Carolina. I'm having a cappuccino in the buffet. And again, if you missed our last video, this buffet is at the front of the ship, which makes for some gorgeous views. After that, Gary meandered around the ship while I took over the stateroom for a flexibility workout. If you didn't know, I teach flexibility and aerial silks classes in New York City. And it can be really, really challenging for me to stay in shape while I'm on a cruise, especially a 10 day cruise. So today I had a nice long workout in the room to get back on track. And this is what Gary did. He sat and enjoyed one of the many live entertainment options on the ship. And this brings us to dinner time and we were prepared. We left for the main dining room early around 515. I always got to dress up a little to eat in the main dining room. But guess what? 515 was not early enough. Another long wait to be sat and I want to point out two more things about the main dining room that made me angry. And this is Gary's angry face. After the previous night's long wait, we went to make reservations for the rest of the cruise and all the decent times were booked up. 
Number two, it's not just on this sailing, but it's on princess in general. They are huge proponents of trying to get you to share a table with other people. If you enjoy that, I'm so happy for you. But we are strictly a table for two kind of couple. And they were extremely pushy about this, mentioning it multiple times, mentioning if we didn't agree to share, that we were just going to have to wait super long, probably up to an hour. But if we simply just agreed to share, they would see us right away. I don't like having to tell someone multiple times that we don't like sitting with other people. Also, post-pandemic, I don't think it's an odd thing to not feel comfortable with that. Anyway, I just had to get that off my chest because that happened a lot on the Caribbean Princess, which we literally sailed directly after the pandemic and were fully masked the whole time, yet still being pressed to sit with other people. It's just something we don't like. It doesn't sit well with us and we wish Princess wouldn't be so pushy about it. You know, mention it's an option and then let it go. Scallop ceviche. It's good. It's really good. We both got the garlic soup. This is my first taste. Verdict? It's it tastes like curried potatoes with garlic. Soupy, okay. Like soup, soupy curried potatoes with garlic. Okay. All right, Gary got the fajitas. Make them yourself. All right. All right. That'll be fun. He's got his little pancake there. And here I go. Uh, yeah. A little bit of this. And hold on. A little bit of that. <laughs> Get in there. Get in there. And some guac. And some pico de gallo. Don't forget your sour cream now. I know. <laughs> pico de gallo and the sour cream. And here I go. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go, here I go again. Go. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. Tasty. I got the calamari steak. I'm a little nervous because sometimes, you know, if it's too tough, you know, that can be disastrous. So let's cut it up. Is it good? Is it? Light, fluffy, not not tough at all. Really? really? And very garlicky. I'm very jealous. Oh, wow. Okay. For all of our complaining and griping, I will say the food in the main dining room was pretty good. Not quite as good as Celebrity, but definitely up there. This is the Black Forest cake. It's more like a bar, though. Turn around so I can see the sauce. There's sauce. Okay. I don't like the cake to frosting ratio, as I always think there should be 75% more, more frosting. Absolutely. Than cake. I agree. So, this is what I got vanilla and chocolate ice cream with caramel sauce. And this is yep. vodka lemon sorbet. We went to the buffet after so I could get more desserts to satisfy my frosting craving. And then it was time for production show number two. I don't remember the name. It was a Mardi Gras Southern style theme show. It was definitely more enjoyable than the previous show. I'm loving the set as well. And of course they had the really awesome Mardi Gras style costumes. And this completes day four of our cruise. Coming up in the next video will be an Island Princess cruise ship tour with commentary, of course. And after that, we'll be posting more videos from the remaining days on this cruise.
including the ports of Charleston, South Carolina, St. John, Canada, and Boston, Massachusetts. You don't want to miss that, so please hit the like and subscribe button with the notification bell on. Until the next time, we want you to live your best cruise life. Bye-bye.